This spreadsheet contains example uh, Beck Depression Inventory scores for a hit group at a baseline and after a four week hit intervention. So here the scores range from 0 to 40 and can be classified according to the Beck Depression Inventory key over here. So firstly to analyse this data I'm going to calculate the mean score at baseline and the mean score at post four week intervention in addition to calculating the standard deviation. So now I'm going to calculate the average baseline. So we can see that the average Beck Depression Inventory score was 17.6, which is classified as borderline clinical depre uh, depression. So on average, at baseline, participants were borderline clinically depressed. So I'm going to do the same at post-intervention. So as we can see, this average value is 15.2, which is a 2.4 decrease from baseline. So this means participants had a mild mood disturbance on average, which is beneficial. So I'm going to calculate the uh, standard deviation to identify the dispersion around the mean. So as we can see, the SD was roughly 10.73 at baseline and at post four week intervention was roughly 8.79. So to identify if there's a statistically significant difference in baseline and post intervention scores, I'm gonna take these values for each participant and conduct a Wilcoxon signed ranks non-parametric test in SPSS. Uh, as this data is ordinal data, it therefore violates parametric assumptions so I'm going to take copy the data from here, excluding the SD and the mean. So I have my variables configured in SPSS. So we have participant, BDI pre and BDI post intervention. And as you can see, they're all ordinal variables. So I'm going to post this data in here like so. So to conduct the Wilcoxon sign ranks test, I'm going to click analyze non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and two related samples. So here the variables are already set up for us. We have variable one, which is BDI pre-intervention, and variable two, BDI post-intervention. So I want to calculate descriptors, so I have descriptors ticked, and I also want the Wilcoxon test, hence why the box is ticked. So I'm gonna press OK to run the test. So here the results also provide us with the average scores at pre and post intervention in addition to standard deviation so they're identical values to what I um, had in the Excel sheet. So we also have minimum and maximum values and now we get into the nitty-gritty data from the Wilcox and Sci ranks test. So as you can see here we have mean rank and sum of rank tests and we also have test statistics here with the significant va significance value. So in this example, the BDI scores when compared to pre and post intervention were not significantly different as the significant value was 0.167, which is clearly a lot bigger than 0.05. So if this was my actual study, uh, I would take these results and these results would indicate that hit a hit four-week hit intervention did not significantly improve Beck Depression Inventory scores.